the responsibility for ensuring that AI is developed and used ethically falls on everyone. And that's not a cop-out argument. Everybody has a role in developing AI ethically, some more than others. But again, consumers, developers, uh, governments, companies, all of them have a role to play to ensure that we don't do bad things with AI and that we use it ethically. There are a lot of ethical concerns when it comes to AI. Anytime you're developing autonomous systems, things that are going to just continue to run and feed on data, some of those ethical concerns are where that data is coming from, how you're sourcing it, um, and how you're using that data. When we talk about generative AI, for example, there are ethical concerns about what you're having these algorithms do and generate. You were talking about policing it, ensuring that people don't use AI to do terrible things. Right now we're coming up on an, on an election in a, in a month and there is still to this day a concern that as a, you know election day gets closer and closer, somebody could use AI tools to create a likeness of one of the candidates doing something awful and try to convince the public that this candidate is unworthy of their vote at the last second. Uh, there's just so many crazy, crazy potential for uh, bad use of AI and doing bad things. And then there are also unintended bad things that AI can do, which we touched upon actually in an episode earlier of Beyond the Bite. For example, bad things that AI can do is you can feed it a certain uh, amount of data about something and without realizing it, you might have created a bias in the algorithm. And that bias, of course, the algorithm doesn't know any better. The AI agent that you've built doesn't know any better. It's only trained on this data. And it's going to run and continue to make decisions that could perpetuate a particular bias without you realizing it until it's too late. So these are some of the big ethical concerns. How do we build governance around policing these tools and and auditing these tools and ensuring that companies and businesses don't inadvertently harm the public, harm society um, uh, with the use of these tools. These are some of the primary ethical concerns today. It's governmental in business as well, ensuring that we we build tech for good and that we don't end up exploiting users and and using data unethically. And especially as we these algorithms continue to be used in so many different industries, we talk about using AI for hiring algorithms or in financial markets, using them for lending. These are all industries where bias can absolutely create some terrible societal ills and perpetuate biases. So these are huge, huge ethical concerns now that everybody is grappling with. Uh, government, private private business, private equity, and society at large, of course, uh, which doesn't want to see these new algorithms, which can do such remarkable things, accidentally create even more bias and do societal harm. I think the responsibility for ensuring that AI is developed and used ethically falls on everyone. And that's not a cop-out argument. It's a matter of, we're talking developers need to ensure that what they're doing is ethical with these algorithms. If you're a developer and you are writing code or you're you're creating an, uh, an AI model and you know that, that what it's doing is unethical, then you become part of that problem. The companies themselves that are building these models. I have been uh, approached myself as a, uh, you know, as a consultant in terms of building products, building AI uh, products, AI models, that the ethics of what they do is questionable. So that means that companies that are out there to make money, perhaps they're using these agents in a way that is unethical, makes money, but is unethical. And so it falls on the companies themselves to not do unethical things just for the sake of profit, because again, it could harm society. Government, of course, has a huge role to play with this. Um, the government's going to have to catch up with ensuring that laws are built around how uh, to use AI for good and how to you know, police and, and enforce policing and crackdown of using AI to do ill, to do bad things. Those have to be defined. And uh, so government has a huge role. So the long and short of it is, Everybody has a role in developing AI ethically, some more than others, of course. So, you know, regulators and policymakers and lawyers, people who are going to put these frameworks together, uh, their responsibility falls on them to help guide how we're going to do that, how we're going to use AI ethically and build tech for good. But again, consumers, developers, uh, governments, companies, 
all of them have a role to play to ensure that we don't do bad things with AI and that we use it ethically. This is another thing that adds to, that we need to think about actually is, uh, and, and this is a term that now gets tossed around a lot, which is corporate social responsibility. Uh, we use that term to talk about how companies should essentially try to add value and not uh, you know, harm the planet or harm people as a result of what their product does. This is a big, big topic, of course, but it is fundamentally important when it comes to AI development because you are developing these autonomous systems. You have to ensure that there is accountability there. If, if, an AI, if an AI system makes mistakes, as a company, you have to be able to, to own that. It's really, it falls on developers making good decisions. It falls on corporations holding themselves accountable for the products that they create. And it falls on government to uh, ensure that, that, that all of the, this technology is properly regulated. And, and actually, we're going to need all of them to collaborate. I was just in a symposium conference where we uh, brought government people in. We brought academics in. Uh, we brought developers in all to sit in a room and talk about how to use this technology ethically and, and learn from each other and work together. Businesses can ensure transparency in their AI systems and, and, and avoid you know, ethical issues by ensuring that they uh, begin with the end in mind. When they build AI products, they have to make sure that they uh, have a clearly defined scope with what they are building, and then they should, uh, you know, ensure that the uh, there's an, uh, a methodology for auditing these systems. Ensure that the, any potential issues of bias and fairness is uh, not just a one-off, but something that is consistently on uh, on their mind as these models are. They're not fixed models. They're very much models that learn and adapt. So ensuring that bias and fairness is something that is constantly audited uh, is very important. Ensuring that there's guidelines created for the use of these algorithms and ensuring that not only is there um, guidelines, but also that in the development of it, at least internally, there's transparency. Um, you know, there's also a certain level of transparency that's required on behalf of companies to the public to ensure that they know how their data is being used uh, and, and, and how their model operates. Now, of course, you know, companies also have to maintain their, their trade secrets and such. But when it comes to AI development and when it comes to data, companies can absolutely can absolutely benefit from transparency. When we talk about AI being used, for example, in the transportation sector, if a company knows that their AI algorithm was prone to making mistakes in a in a catastrophic way, keeping that information to themselves and not being transparent about it harms everybody arms all the other companies that are using AI for autonomous vehicles. In that case, for example, holding on to a, a trade secret and, and not being transparent is actually potentially creating societal ill. So this, especially now as we're developing these algorithms, the need for transparency and knowing uh, you know, how the data is being used and how the model is actually coming to its decisions, making those decisions is hugely important to avoid potential ethical issues. If you want more information about ethics of AI and ensuring that we develop these algorithms properly, tune in, like, subscribe, Beyond the Byte, where we are going to be talking about these tools. We're going to have uh, interviews with academics, with AI innovators, thinkers, authors, in order to ensure that we develop this tech for good and do good things with it. Thank you for joining me on Beyond the Byte. 